This is a model of the Bohr atom. We can see a nucleus with an electron whizzing around at a low energy level. Um, around the atom we can also see some higher energy levels drawn. Now, if we want the electron to be excited, we need the electron to absorb some energy. So if I click onto the highest energy level, uh, a packet of energy comes along, is absorbed, and the electron jumps up to that high energy level. Um, the atom is a bit unstable now, um, and that extra energy would be re-emitted um, if we let it uh, circulate for long enough, it will re-emit spontaneously. There we go. And we can bring another photon or another packet of energy, a photon, in um, to jump the electron up to other energy levels as well. So um, that's up to the second energy level and back down. You'll notice that whenever I click between two levels, it's the same photon that gets either um, absorbed or re-emitted. So I'll jump up to the third energy level now, and we might just jump down to the second one, and we see that the uh, photon is different. Okay, so to go up an energy level, energy is absorbed in the form of a photon, and to jump down a level, energy is emitted in the form of a photon.